Well, hello, everybody. I want to, if I could, take a minute or two of your time to share a vision that I'm excited about, not a vision that I had, uh, a spiritual vision, but just an idea, a dream that the Lord has put uh, into my heart, and it's called uh, Forerunner School. We're starting a, a school to train forerunners uh, in, in the spirit and the power of Elijah, and we're going to begin uh, this school is this coming September, and I want to just take a minute to share a little bit about it and to invite you to participate in it. You can check it out at uh, forerunnerschool.org. You can get all the information about it, how it works, uh, and then you can register online. But I just want to share a little bit uh, about uh, the, the idea of being called to be a voice of truth. Uh, you know, in America, we're going through a major time of, uh, of confrontation right now. Uh, some even say that we're in a battle for the soul of the country. Um, it, it's much more than a political fight and looking for a political victory. There's really a battle uh, uh, and a sense of a cultural revolution uh, going on right now, being fought on right now. And in the midst of this massive conflict, uh, there is a battle for biblical truth. There's a real battle for biblical truth. Uh, a prophetic friend of mine just recently uh, got this word from the Lord. Uh, and the Lord told her, he said, Who will stand in the face of such adversity to truth? I am watchful to find those who are choosing to walk with me and to declare my truth. Jesus Christ and his superiority. I declare he speaking of Christ, will not be diminished in this hour, but I will prove that his name is great. And so my feeling, my sense, that in the midst of this conflict that's going on in America and going on globally there, in the midst of that, there's a battle for truth. And the church is in a, in a valley of decision and sense. Will it stand for truth in the midst of pressures, the pressures against biblical truth, or will it compromise uh, with the, those that are trying to take away the, the truth, biblical truth? Will it be silenced? Will it be compromised? Will it be persecuted? Um, that will be the case if those who stand for truth. Uh, but there's good news. In the midst of the fight, God is raising up His church. Um, hey, Doug, I want, to, I want to start this one over again. Uh, um, okay. Well, welcome, everybody. Uh, I want to take a minute or two of your time, if I could, to share a vision of something that's exciting uh, to me, and that's the Forerunner School uh, that we are beginning in September. I'm very excited about it. I think it's a very timely thing. It's a very uh, important situation, important opportunity, an important uh, uh, school that we are beginning in the light of what's happening right now. There's really a battle for biblical truth that's going on in the world right now. You know the turmoil that's going on in America. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, confrontation, a lot of crisis, a lot of uh, different opinions on a lot of different things. Um, and it's more than just a political view. It's more than just a battle over politics and over who will rule and who will reign in America. There's a cultural revolution that's being fought right now. And in the midst of that, there is a battle for biblical truth. Uh, a prophetic friend of mine received a, a word from the Lord a, a short time ago, and this is what the Lord said to her. Who will stand in the face of such adversity to truth? I am watchful to find those who are choosing to walk with me and to declare my truth. Jesus Christ and his superiority. I declare that he, Christ, will not be diminished in this hour but I will prove that his name is great. God is wanting a people who will stand up for truth. But my, in my opinion, the church stands right now in a valley of decision. Uh, will it stand for truth or will it compromise with the shifting culture? Uh, if those wanting a new America win this fight, much of the church will be silenced, it'll be compromised, and it'll even be persecuted. But there is good news. Uh, in the midst of the fight, in the midst of this battle, God is raising up His church, even if it's only a remnant. He's raising up His church to be a voice of truth, a faithful witness of truth of the preeminence of Jesus Christ. And this is the purpose of the Forerunner School, is to raise up a people who will be voices, 
who can speak into those situations and uh, confront some of the compromise, but yet build the people who will stand on truth. And we want to invite you to be a part of it. There's no charge. It's free. Uh, it starts in September. It's a combination of online material and meeting, whether through something like Zoom or in person, depending on your geographical location. Uh, you can check it out again at Forerunner School. Dot org. We really hope you'll be a part of it. We're excited about it, and I hope you'll join. I believe you will be, too, and you'll be blessed by it. So look forward to seeing you in September. God bless you. Well, welcome, everybody. Uh, I want to just, again, take a minute or two of your time to share an exciting vision that the Lord has put in my heart, and that's to start a, a ministry school called Forerunner School. Uh, we're going to begin it in this September. It's a combination of online training and, and community gathering, whether online or in person, depending on your geographical location. It's free, uh, and we're excited about it. So we can we'll share a little bit more about it a little bit later, but you can you can register. Uh, let me start over and get that one. <coughs> well, welcome everybody. I want to take a minute or two of your time to share an exciting vision that the Lord has put into my heart, and the, the vision is about starting a ministry school called Forerunner School. We start in September. Uh, it's a combination of online and community gathering, whether that being online or in person, depending on the geographic location. Uh, it's free, uh, and we're really, really excited uh, about it. Uh, I want to talk in just a minute about Forerunner's call to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Um, there's a scripture verse that we've used at, at Life School um, and in our church for a number, number of years. It's basically... Our theme verse is Luke chapter 1, verse 16 and 17. And it reads this, And he will turn many of the sons of Israel, speaking of John the Baptist, back to the Lord their God. It is he who will go as a forerunner before him in the spirit and the power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers back to the children and the disobedient to the attitude of the righteous, so as to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. We've been training pastors in Africa now for uh, more than 20 years, and um, we've been using this verse, and we've been taking and training them as forerunners to raise up a different type of church uh, in Africa. And like I said, in December, the Lord put in my heart to begin the Forerunner School here. It's a combination of materials that we have taught, but it's a lot of new material as well. Things that we've learned over the last 20 or 25 uh, years or so of ministry. We're putting it into an 18-month, 12-class uh, 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 section school that will train people as forerunners to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. We want to train people as messengers, forerunners and messengers who will invite people into a new expression of Christianity to announce to them the soon coming of Christ uh, and to confront even when necessary compromise and error. To raise up forerunners as master builders who will create a different spiritual environment uh, in order to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. The current wineskin of much of the church will not survive in the days in which are coming and which are here. Here, even now. Raising up forerunners as intercessors and spiritual warriors uh, to labor for the fulfillment of God's eternal purpose and to stand against the Antichrist system and the deterioration of the, of the global culture. Forerunners as friends of the bride, bride, bridegroom who will make ready a bride before Jesus, to put bridal garments upon them or to give wisdom and revelation insight so that those can be made ready as a bride and to help them passionately pursue Christ uh, as their bridegroom king. We really hope, hope you'll be a part of this. Uh, check it out at forerunnerschool.org. You can register online. Again, it's free. Uh, you will not regret it. If you have a heart to be a forerunner, this is a must for you, and I hope you'll be a part of it. God bless you. Well, hello, everybody. Um, 
I would love again to have a couple of minutes of your time to discuss the Forerunner School that we're starting in September. Again, it is a, a free class, a uh, free school. Uh, it's a combination of online uh, study, uh, self-study, as well as uh, community discussion, which would either again be online or in person, depending on your geographical location. You can check it out at forerunnerschool.org. Uh, again, it's free. Uh, and, but we're excited, excited about it. hope you'll be a part of it. I want to talk about God's solution for just a minute. Uh, when the northern kingdom of Israel spiraled into deep darkness, they worshipped Baal, they worshipped the Asherah, and the people joined in with, into the compromise, the great compromise that was taking place in the northern kingdom of Israel. God's solution to that was to raise up Elijah, uh, as the prophet Malachi wrote, the same thing will happen in the end times, in the deterioration of that's going on in the global culture. The, the, all I won't take time to talk about that, but all that's going on in the world right now, God's solution is to raise up a people, a company of people who will be anointed in the spirit and the power of Elijah uh, to turn the hearts of the people back to God and back to the supremacy of the and preeminence of the person of Christ. We're living in those days now. This is not something for the future. We are living in those days now. God is raising up believers anointed with the spirit and the power of Elijah to function much like Elijah, Elisha, uh, and John the Baptist to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Uh, this is the time for the Lord's second coming to prepare for that. And, and Forerunner School is designed to equip people to be anointed with the spirit and the power of Elijah to function as forerunners, as messengers, master builders, intercessors, friends of the bridegroom, to turn people back from some of the compromise, some of the false doctrine, some of the various things that are going on, to turn them back uh, to the Lord their God in preparation for his coming. So if you have a desire, if, if you have a desire to function in this way, I want to invite you to be a part of Forerunner School. It starts in September. It's uh, 18, an 18-month 18 program, including 12 classes, comprised of 12 classes. Again, it's a combination of online study and community discussion, uh, creating an environment of, 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 of strengthening and equipping so that people can be made ready for the Lord. Forerunner, you can check it out at forerunnerschool.org and you can register there online. I would really encourage you to do that if you have a heart to be equipped in this way. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. So I hope to see you in September. God bless you.